family, Tansley Stearns here, and today we are joined by our fearless leader, Todd Marksbury. Welcome, Todd. Hello, Canvas family. <laughs> That's the Tansley thing. Hey, everybody. All right, well, you had a big week. It was your birthday week. So tell birthday us a little bit about week. what you did. Yeah. Yeah, birthday week. Uh, I've never had a birthday week. I've had a birthday. Hey, I love birthdays. So birthday day, week, week month. So, yes, um, had a birthday, and the cool thing was is my uh, two best friends on the planet uh, came in, one from Georgia and one from Florida, and they came in with their, their uh, wives, and they got a chance to hang out and, and be here on, uh, during my birthday. They didn't come out for my birthday, um, but it was icing on the cake to be able to, pun intended, to actually have those guys uh, and, and their wives here. And we just had a really, really good time. We got a chance to, to show them around, you know, a bunch of things here in Colorado. And, uh, and they're still here. They, they leave tomorrow morning. So actually, so for my birthday week, they've been here all week. Yay. What's better than that? Friends on your birthday. Love it. Friends on your birthday. And we've also, in the last several weeks, been doing some really fun connection points even in this physically distanced time so you've been having your branch dinners tell us a little bit about how those are going yeah so we've had 10 branch dinners so far I, I, you know i haven't looked at my my phone to see when the next ones are i think we're i think we have one or two more and then literally we start our home office virtual dinners and and, and really it's been great I, I, as i've been saying at, at the uh, at the beginning of each one of the the branch dinners, I kind of give them a history of the branch dinners, and you know when we started these five years ago, I talk about you know very obviously that you know as soon as this all uh, COVID hit and we were all uh, we had the stay at home orders, that uh, I was bumming. I'm like golly, and all of April and May, and then the, by the middle of June, for so for essentially ten weeks. I was going to be jumping around all over the front range and having dinners and we had to shut that down and I was bumming and, and then um, Jennifer Hinton and uh, Marcella uh, had these ideas about virtual dinners and so we're like let's give it a whirl and so it's been it's been a lot of fun we've had we've had a lot of laughs that relates to um, zoom calls and feedback and technology and you know, people, you know, in the branch with, they're on a phone and, and they're eating and they're, they're like right up in the camera. And it's just, but we've had such a good time um, just messing around with each other. A lot of hazing has been going on. We've had some, we have some games and, and but it's been, it's been wonderful. Um, and I, I, but I can't wait to get back to, to the in person. It's been very cool. Yeah, for sure. And we kicked off our summer entertainment series as we wanted to really have our family members have some things to look forward to. So I know you sat in and watched our comedians. Did you laugh a little bit? I did. I did. You know, it's funny. Um, as you and I had discussed, I, there were, I was watching and uh, for, for both of them, you know, I'm listening and, and, and there were a few jokes where they were like, I hope your CEO is not going to pull the plug. And you know, and, and, and uh, it was all in good fun. And, and you know, there were a couple of times I was like, oh, well, let's see if anybody has any feedback on that one. But, uh, you know, all in good fun. And, and uh, we certainly, as you and I said, we certainly um, didn't feel it necessary to, to screen their jokes beforehand. Because as you know, with a comedian in that setting, there's a lot of stream of consciousness, you know, and, and a, that everybody, 625 canvas family members, should be very used to Todd with his stream of consciousness. You never know what I'm going to say, but it, it, I thought it was great. Uh, again, another wonderful idea that came from our marketing team as far as uh, keeping, doing the very best that we can during this really strange time to stay connected and engaged with our, our teammates. So we're excited about some of the other things. I think we're going to have some music and yeah, in September and it's a mashup. So we had reached out to some bands and none of the bands were willing to do it on their own, but they said, well, what if 
a member of this band and a member of this band and a member of this band and this band came together. Would you guys be cool with that? And we were like, that's epic because that's something you only see if you sit in. So make yeah. sure you sign up and join us. Yeah, we want to see. So we had a good number of our 625 watch the uh, the comedians, but not ne nearly enough. That's right. Nearly enough. Please, please take advantage of that. It's really, really cool that, you know, again, the marketing team and then also our videography team, um, you know, they're busting their tails uh, getting set up for that and, and setting up that live stream. So please take advantage of it next time. Yeah, absolutely. Good. Well, I know you've been working with some of the boards you're on and we are continuing to work on our iterative strategy. I thought it might be interesting for you to just talk a bit to our Canvas family about our approach to strategy and sort of what's on the hearts and minds of you and other leaders across the industry. It continues to be, I'm sort of tired of hearing myself say it's a unique time, but it kind of is. <laughs> yeah, 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 no, it is a unique time. And, and interestingly, for those who have been here uh, at Canvas for, uh, certainly for the five years that I've been around, uh, you know, everyone has heard me say on, you know, numerous times, you know, we want to be, you know, uh, known for our people. We want, or we want to be a leader in our communities, a household name, known for our people, known for our heart. And those things are enduring. They'll never change. But year over year, you know, there are things that we're doing, uh, strategically speaking, um, that will um, change, not every single year, but in support of going after those things, right? And, and a lot of what we've put in place in terms of strategy is multi-year, right? Uh, we're not like a lot of organizations where, where we'll say, in 2021, we are going to do these seven things. Come hell or high water, these seven things. Uh, we definitely cast a vision that's a long game. And, uh, and, and, you know, we've been building upon that. Interestingly, much of what we've been doing, what you've seen over this past year, is, is, has been um, a continuation of what we started five years ago. And, and so here's the, here's the thing. When we got into this, this COVID thing and we're shut down, as you know, and the rest of the, the leadership team knows, you know, many of our friends around the country, as I shared with everybody, were, were basically saying, you know, hey, we're going to stop everything. You know, it, we, we're just scared half to death and we don't know what we don't know and let's just stop. And at Canvas, we said, you know what, we're going to be prudent. We have to pay attention to the bottom line. We have to make sure that we are able to, because we want to be able to keep our 625 Canvas family members in their jobs and keep our benefits the same and, you know, all in, and not reduce pay. And look, we're, we're, we're going to pay attention to the bottom line. However, we're going to lean into this time and we're going to learn, we're going to grow, we're going to iterate, and we're actually hopefully going to be able to transform our business. And, and so I say all that to say, strategically speaking, as we're going off in about two weeks, we're going to get a chance uh, to spend time as a, our, our executive leadership team with our board of directors. We're, we're going to dream and we're going to dream even bigger. And so that might scare some people who've been here for five years and like, crap, now what's Todd and the team going to, you know, um, I'm sorry, that actually it is going to be a crap kind of thing because we want to dream even bigger and we want to be able to have, um, provide even more uh, value to our members, um, far more value for our Canvas family members and more impact in the communities in which we serve. And so um, we're on the front range. I want to start looking over on the Western slope and see how we can, we feel like we have such a great thing here, uh, to offer to, to people who live here in Colorado. I want to be able to see how we can provide impact for those small communities over on the Western slope, um, who don't have access to the things that, that uh, credit unions like that Canvas have available. So I, I, I want us to dream very, very big and, um, I'd love nothing better than for us to come out of that with some things that, that, um, that are going to go way beyond, live way beyond Todd or Tansley or others uh, on our team. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about dreaming big. Don't, don't want to freak everybody out, but that's what we're going to do. Well, those big dreams are what make Canvas really special. So it's super exciting. Absolutely.
All right, so we're recording on a Friday. We're going to release next week, but since it's Friday, let's talk good news. Tell us what your high this week was. My high this week. Yeah. Well, I would say my high this week was actually just that that uh, uh, my two closest friends on the planet got a chance to come out and and we got a chance to to uh, spend time with one another. I I uh, we haven't spent that kind of time together in a in a in a couple years. And I, th I think it was actually what my oldest daughter, her wedding, and then um, my one buddy's youngest son, his wedding. And, and uh, you know, it just, it's food for my soul, absolutely. Um, I, I would say work-wise, um, had an opportunity to, uh, had a lot of meetings, talked to a lot of folks, but had an opportunity to spend time with Colorado State University um, you were participating, Steve Ferrero was participating and, and, you know, we're dreaming big dreams with them as well in terms of how we can expand our partnership. And so that was really, uh, a highlight of the week for me as well. Awesome. Very cool. Well, we always appreciate you taking the time and I've got some trivia to land us if you're willing to jump in. Brilliant. All right, Great. good. We're, we're back. You know, when I'm uh, working from home, I have a different game, which you <laughs> played last time, the 80s Trivial Pursuit. So we'll see how this goes. Okay. Okay. Very good. Let's start with entertainment as the category. Ready? Who played Ralph Furley on Three's Company? Well, there were two Ralph Furleys. Oh, yes, you're right. Good point. And there's only one on here, so. Mr. Furley. Um, well, no, Mr. Furley was actually Don Knotts. Yay! You got it. Woo hoo, one for one. But there was another one before him. I'm Who just was saying. that? Oh, I can't remember his name, but I can picture his face. Very funny dude, but no, Don Knotts. Okay, brilliant. All right. Let's go with this one. What animals did Florida make it okay to hunt in 1988 using a harpoon, gaff, or bang stick? Uh, alligator. Yeah, two for two. Boom. Look at you. Buddy's over here, he's a Florida guy. Did you know that? I did not know that one. He did not know that. Ooh, all right. See, we're learning together. All right, how about this one? What was America's favorite outdoor leisure activity between 1985 and 1987? So it wasn't, wouldn't have been the slip and slide. Oh my God, I don't think so. <laughs> um, favorite outdoor, 85 to 87. Gosh, water parks, I don't know. Gardening. What? I don't believe that. Yeah. You it, slipped that in. That was a that was a red herring, a fake <laughs> question. All right, you want one more? Yep. Okay. Why were two weasels, two lionfish, and a penguin reported to the New York police in 1987? Because they had escaped from the zoo. A good guess, but they bit people. Oh, because they had escaped from the zoo. Yeah, yeah. I, we can count that one as right. <laughs> hey, uh, about a four. Yeah. Two percent, yeah. Very right well. Done. Don Knotts. Don Knotts, you started off strong. Yeah, uh, trivia to you very quickly. <laughs> what, 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 what show put Don Knotts on the map? Oh gosh. As a comedic actor. Love boat. Oh. Oh yeah, I don't know. The Andy Griffith show. Yeah, I with Yeah. Don Knotts. Uh -uh. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Her favorite show. Oh, all right. Yeah. So Graham probably didn't even know that as he's he recording doesn't even this. Know that show. No. <laughs> Sorry. So there you have it. Trivia awesome. Weekend. That's right. All right, friend. Well, thank you so much for joining us. And thank you for joining us. And we'll be back again next week as we continue to enjoy being campus.